Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are joining us from around the world today. Thank you very much for taking the time to connect with us and to join us in our latest video webinar from the China I2I Group. Today we are pleased to present our video webinar on China WeChat, how to use it, how to understand it, and most importantly, how to profit from it. This video webinar will take approximately 25 minutes. And if you have any questions at the conclusion, please feel free to contact us by email or WeChat, and we'll be very happy to answer your questions. Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Alexander Gloss. I am the CEO at the China I2I Group, based here in Shanghai. I've actually been living in China now for about 16 years. And although I'm a native New Yorker, originally from Manhattan, China is very much my home these days. WeChat is the biggest and the best in China. It has 1.1 billion active users, 900 million daily users. The average time spent online is over 80 minutes a day, and actually 50% spend much more than that. Many people around the world say, oh, well, it's just like Twitter. Well, that's 100% wrong. It's actually so much more. It's like having an intranet on one app on your mobile phone. Because WeChat is communicative, it is transactional, it is financial, it's bookable, it's searchable, it's about shopping, it's about business, it's a completely new way of life. WeChat is very simple to operate. It's just an app on your phone and it's available globally in about 30 different languages. So here's a quick demonstration on how it works. To start working with WeChat, it's really very easy. You simply need to take your mobile phone and go to the App Store and search for WeChat. And there you can find the WeChat app and all you need to do is simply download it. Now when you open WeChat, you can see there are four menus on the bottom. The first one is called Chats. This is your chatting history with your friends, the contacts, all of them are listed here. The second menu is called Contacts. And from here, you can see all of your friends' contacts that you have added. The third menu is called Discover. And there are many useful functions here, such as Moments, shake, people nearby, games, and more. The last menu is called Me, and here you can find out all the basic settings that you need for WeChat, as well as WeChat Pay, which is really very important. So now let's go to Chats. I'm going to click on one of my contacts, and you can send them a text message from here. You can make a video call, you can transfer money, you can share pictures, you can send files. WeChat is becoming a very powerful communication tool, not just social, but also for people's day-to-day -day business activities. Let's go to Me, and here you can check out the WeChat Pay function. This is very important and used daily in people's lives in China. Users can pay for utilities, water, electric, gas, internet, almost anything and everything that you want to buy in China can be paid with WeChat Pay. You can also book train tickets or air tickets. Here is the train ticket booking app. Air ticket bookings, even hotel room bookings. shopping online as well. If you have a official WeChat account, you can find this account in Contacts. 
Here are the official accounts. Or when the official WeChat account sends out the content push message, you can see it at chats. But to really understand the power of WeChat, one has to understand what it can do and how people are really using it. Let's take a deep look at the power of WeChat. If you are sitting in the United States or Europe right now, You've probably never used a Chinese app, but the reality is if you want to know how the internet will develop, China, the land once known for its cheap ripoffs, has actually become a guide to the future. You know, the internet is the internet, but for China, the internet is more like an intranet. It's largely walled off from the Western world by this incredibly complex system of filters and blocks that we call the Great Firewall. And basically, the Great Firewall blocks any foreign site the Communist Party doesn't think it can control. So that means there is no Facebook, no Twitter, no Google. Instead, what filled the internet vacuum was a generation of Chinese copycats that have grown into huge companies. So for Google, you had Baidu. For YouTube, you had Yoku. For Twitter, you had Sina Weibo. And the list goes on and on. It's almost as if the Chinese internet is a lagoon as an aside to the greater ocean of the internet. And in that lagoon, there are these swamp monster apps that bear some resemblance to the creatures in the ocean, but are mutated in some ways because they evolved in a different kind of environment. But things have started to shift in the sense that before, no one outside of the lagoon really cared about the swamp monsters. But now all of a sudden, some of the features they've developed are so amazing that Western apps are trying to copy them. And the greatest example of this is WeChat. WeChat is an example of, uh, for lack of a better word, a super app. It's a Swiss army knife that basically does everything for you. It's your WhatsApp, Facebook, Skype, and Uber. It's your Amazon, Instagram, Venmo, and Tinder. But it's other things we don't even have apps for. There are hospitals that have built out whole appointment booking systems. There are investment services. There are even heat maps that show how crowded a place is, be it your favorite shopping mall or a popular tourist site. The list of services goes on basically forever. But it's not the variety of things you can do on WeChat that makes it so powerful. It's the fact that they're all in one app. So why does that matter? Hypothetically, imagine you're sitting at home and one day you notice your corgi is dirty. You open WeChat, hit a few buttons, and a few hours later a man shows up at your door with some shampoo and a big vacuum. Your dog gets cleaned and he looks great. You take a photo, you share it with your friends, and tag the dog cleaning business. You haven't left the app. Your friend who likes Hello Kitty and works a boring office job is slacking off at work and looking at WeChat. She sees the photo of your clean corgi. She decides she wants her poodle clean. She clicks the tag on your photo and orders the same service. Within seconds, the man with the big vacuum is on his way to her house. She pays him, and he's happy because he got paid instantly on WeChat. She starts chatting with you to thank you. Neither of you have left the app. While chatting, she tells you about a new hip noodle joint. She says, you have to come. It's a schlep, but you accept. She orders food while still at her desk. You order a taxi. She pays for the food. On the way to her house, the man with the big vacuum invests the money he earned from both of you into a wealth management product that's probably a little too risky. Neither of you nor the man with the big vacuum have left the app. Both of you arrive and the app tells the kitchen you're there. Your WeChat profile photo pops up on the wall. It's an old photo from the year you had that weird part in your hair. Of course she makes a comment. Your food is served. You notice your meat is a bit overcooked, so you snap a photo and post a disparaging restaurant review. You're already on your phone, and you remember you still owe your friend money because she paid. You transfer her money. Neither of you, the man with the big vacuum, nor the restaurant have left the app. At the restaurant, there are no menus, there are no waiters, there is no cashier. There is only WeChat. By rolling so many functions into one single app, it's altered the concept of virality. It's no longer just videos or images or tweets that can go viral. It's a dog washer, noodles, all sorts of companies and products that get the push of a social network. 
Here in China, that network is 700 million people. Sounds great, right? Well, it is, but using a single app to find a date, schedule an oil change, or notarize a document also enables WeChat to collect a staggering volume of personal data. They know what you talk about, who you talk about it with, what you read, where you go, why you're going there, who's there, how you spend money when you're online, how you spend money when you're offline. The list goes on indefinitely. For advertisers, this is a miracle. It's the combined data of Facebook, Amazon, Google, and PayPal, all in one place. The problem is, all of the data is information Chinese companies are forced to share with the Chinese government, which has a long record of human rights violations and isn't exactly shy about stalking its citizens. So if you're not in China, why does this matter? It matters because we're starting to see a number of Western tech companies attempt to replicate super apps like WeChat. For the companies, it's incredibly powerful. And for you and me, it's a convenient and even transformative technology. But of course, it could also be problematic. Concentrating so much data in so few hands could lay the groundwork for an Orwellian world where companies and governments can track every single movement you make. In China, we say if you're not on WeChat, you're just not in China. And as you can see from this most recent video, WeChat is an integral part of people's lives. WeChat can be used for many type of travel industry companies. Let's take a look at some different examples. Hotels and hotel groups are the largest users of WeChat for travel. It can be used in lots of different ways, such as general communication and showcasing your property, you can link it to your reservations website. Guests can use it to order room service. They can also connect to your concierge. You can profile local things to do around your hotels. It can even link to your loyalty program. And in today's world, you can highlight all of your health and hygiene applications. Let's take a look at how the Atlantis Hotel in Sanya is really effectively using WeChat. This is the interface for the Atlantis Hotel official WeChat account. These are the content pushes from the Atlantis Hotel. Let's click into one of them and take a quick look. The content push usually consists of images, video, and text. At the bottom of the content push, you can see the number of reads that's the number of individual readers who have actually opened and read this push. You can also see the number of likes. Now let's go back for a moment. As you can see here, there are three main menus on the bottom. Let's take this account for example. The first main menu is named Check-in Guide. Under this main menu, you can see five submenus. The first submenu is called Atlantis Park Self Check-in. Just click onto this and you can see the self check-in instructions of getting your entrance to the Atlantis Water Park. The second submenu is called Paying Parking Fee. Click onto this and you can type in your car license plate number and pay the appropriate parking fee. The third submenu is called For You Club. Now this is linked to the Atlantis Loyalty Program Mini Program. Special promotions, deals, activity introductions, and more can be found on this mini program. The fourth submenu is called Health. This links to the Atlantis Health Plan Mini Program. The fifth submenu is called Airport Shuttle Bus Schedule. Just click onto this and the shuttle bus schedule between the airport and the Atlantis Hotel can be found here. The second main menu is called Discounted Booking. There are five submenus on this menu as well. 
The first submenu is called Hotel Room Booking, Lightning Speed Confirmation. Just click onto this and you can see the hotel room type, the rate, and book your stay at the hotel. The second submenu is called Ticketing. As you know, the Atlantis Water Park is another reason for people to visit the hotel. Here you can book various tickets for many different activities. The third submenu is called Special Deals. This is basically the mini shop for the Atlantis Hotel, and you can book your stay, activities, restaurants, and more. The fourth submenu is called Summer Camping Program. This is the program offered by Atlantis for families with young children. The fifth submenu is called Water World Night Ticket. Now let's take a look at this third main menu, which is called My For You Club. There are five submenus under this main menu. The first submenu is called My Order. Click onto this and you can see your ordering history. The second submenu is called Contact Customer Service. Click onto this and you can see the service contact information. The third submenu is called For You Club Members Center. Just click onto this and you can see the members' benefits. The fourth submenu is called Photos Searching. Just click onto this and you can see the photos that are being taken at the water park by the Atlantis staff. The fifth submenu is called About For You Club. Just click onto this and you can see the introduction of the For You Club program. Airlines are the next common users for WeChat in the travel industry. Airlines can use WeChat for reservations and for bookings. It can link to your online reservations platform. You can link it to your loyalty program. You can highlight all of the different services and baggage. You can basically put everything on your WeChat platform that you already have on your website. Let's take a look at what Air China is doing with their WeChat account. Now I'm really pleased to introduce the WeChat platform for Air China. And Air China is one of the largest international airlines from China, and they have a very effective WeChat platform that we'd like to showcase. Take a look here, and you're going to find the content pushes from Air China. When you click into one of them, they are generally consisting of images, videos, and text. And at the bottom of the content push, you can see the number of reads and the number of individual readers who have also liked each of these different pushes. Now let's go back. As you can see here, there are three main menus on the bottom. The first menu is called Flight Services. And under this, you can see five sub-menus. The first is called My Itineraries. And here, you can check your flight itineraries, your bookings, and you can also connect your loyalty program to your booking. The second menu is called Flight Status, and here you can easily check the flight status on your itineraries or anybody's flight status. The third menu is called Ticket Booking, and here you can click to actually book individual flight tickets. The fourth menu is check-in services, and here you're going to be able to utilize mobile online check-in. The fifth menu is called ticket reschedule, and if you click onto this, you can actually rebook or change your flight ticket to another date or time. The second main menu is titled Phoenix Miles. 
there are five submenus in this menu. The first is called Health Status. And when you click onto this, passengers are able to fill in certain information about their health status, which is now required when you travel on Air China. The second submenu is called Member Central Login. And when you click onto this, you'll go into the loyalty program and you'll be able to log in from here. The third menu is called Member Account Information. And then you click onto this, and if you're already a loyalty member, you can log in and see your account information here. The fourth submenu is called Phoenix Shop. And here, Phoenix members can use their points to redeem gifts and flight awards. The fifth submenu is called Incentive. And here you can actually click in to redeem your points for special flights and upgrades. Now let's take a look at the third main menu, which is called More. And here there are five submenus under this main menu. The first submenu is called Compensation. And when you click here, there's a QR code that shows up. And you can add this QR code for requesting a compensation request because your flight might be delayed or canceled. The second menu is called Flight Delay Certificate. Here, you can click onto this and you can type in your flight information and Air China will issue a flight delay notice. And this is something that many people can use if they have to prove that their flight was delayed or ask for leave from work or maybe flight delay insurance redemptions. The third menu is called Irregular Luggage Checking. And this is the, probably the one that you don't want to click on to, but if you click on to this, you can type in your name and your luggage tag number to check the status and the whereabouts of your luggage. The fourth menu is called Phoenix Miles Electronic Card. And here if you click, you can bind your loyalty program and to your flight reservation and see your Phoenix Miles card in the electronic version if you need it at check-in or maybe to get entrance to one of the lounges. The fifth menu is called App Download. And if you click onto this, you're going to be able to download the Air China app. Destinations use WeChat mostly in conjunction with their travel partners. It's a great way to communicate and profile your destination, but also include your hotel partners, shopping, experience, museums, etc., who can partake in the WeChat platform and can also showcase their products and services. You can highlight a lot of experiences. If you have a booking and reservation site, maybe you're selling hotel reservations or museum tickets, that can all be linked into your WeChat platform. And of course, it becomes a great resource bank where you can upload detailed information about all of your partners and your destination, which can easily be resourced or downloaded. Let's take a look at one of our clients, Dusseldorf Tourism, and how they're using WeChat. This is the WeChat platform for Visit Dusseldorf. These are the content pushes that Visit Dusseldorf includes in their platform. Now let's click into one of them and take a quick look. The content push is consisting of images and videos and text. And at the bottom of the content pushes, you can always see the number of reads. These are the number of individual readers who have read every push and also like them. Now let's go back. As you can see here, there are three main menus on the bottom. Now take this as an example. The first main menu here is called Dusseldorf. And under this main menu, you have five sub-menus. The first sub-menu is called Dusseldorf. And if you click this, what you'll see is an introduction all about the city of Dusseldorf. The second sub-menu is called Lifestyle. And if you click this, 
the lifestyle of Dusseldorf introduction will show up. The third menu is called Top Attractions. And here you can see all of the top attractions in Dusseldorf. The fourth menu is called How to Get There. If you click this, what you'll get is information about taking flights and how best and easily it is to get to Dusseldorf. The fifth submenu is called Dusseldorf Card. And if you click this, you will be able to see information about the Dusseldorf Travel Card and how to use this card as you go around the city. The second main menu is titled Experience, and there are five submenus here. The first submenu is called Culture Experience, and if you click this, you'll get all of the content about all of the different cultural experiences that are available in Dusseldorf. The second submenu is titled Wonderful Activities. And here again, you'll get all of the information about various activities available in Dusseldorf. The third submenu is titled Shopping Experience. And here, they list all of the different various shopping choices and recommendations in Dusseldorf. The fourth menu is titled Food and Restaurants. Again, if you click this, you'll get lots of different food and restaurant options in Dusseldorf. The fifth menu is titled Regional Area One Day Tours. And here you're going to get a lot of information about what you can see in the region and how to take an easy one day city tour from Dusseldorf. Now let's take a look at the third main menu, which is called Business. And under this main menu, there are three sub-menus listed. The first is called Contact Us, which obviously has all of the contact information if you want to contact somebody from Dusseldorf Tourism. The second menu is called Hotel and Stay. And if you click this, you're going to get all of the hotel introductory information for all of the major hotels in Dusseldorf. The third submenu is titled Convention and Events. And if you're looking to check out MICE facilities or general information about taking your event to Dusseldorf, here is where you're going to find it all. Now, there's a couple of important things to know about WeChat. There are two primary types of accounts, service and subscription. Now, we recommend our clients to get a service account, which is generally designed for businesses and offers options and capabilities that are really designed for businesses. Of most importance is that service accounts allow you to use and create mini sites and mini apps. Now, mini sites, like the name implies, is basically a miniature or short version of your website, which is hosted on the WeChat platform. Now, this allows for very easy use and fast functionality, so international website access or bandwidth issues, which you sometimes find on mobile devices and mobile connections, they don't really create any problems. The mini-apps are commonly used by platforms that want an extensive retail presence. This is very suitable for airlines and hotels, but also for destinations that are actively selling room reservations or tickets or branded merchandise. Now, service accounts are also certified, which is a designation that is provided by WeChat that verifies you are the real account holder and the brand name. And this is very important to Chinese travel consumers who are very sensitive to making sure that they're buying their air tickets from the real airline. Now, subscription accounts, this is the other account type, these are commonly set up by individuals. They have less features, less functions, 
and they're also easily identifiable by Chinese users as an individual account, not a professional account. And generally, these are not suitable for businesses looking to use WeChat most effectively for business and marketing development. For the past six years, we have operated a WeChat studio in our Shanghai offices. And our team helps global travel companies set up and establish their own WeChat platforms. We are able to register the platform, we get the licensing, the certification program, we design it for you, we populate it from your own content, we all do the translation and the writing, we run it on a weekly and monthly basis, provide you with a monthly report, and you liaison with an account manager. One of the unique advantages of working with eye to eye is we have an extensive ecosystem of existing WeChat platforms that we have developed in conjunction with our eye to eye media company. These different platforms are populated with approximately 8.5 million followers, all of whom are global Chinese travelers and shoppers. Now, how do we do this? Well, about 10 years ago, we launched our media company, which at the time was predominantly publishing magazines focused on global Chinese travelers. The magazines are exclusively distributed to Chinese travelers through visa service centers and consulates, hotels, uh, VIP lounges, airline lounges, basically places where one would only find real travelers. After all, no one is getting a visa for fun. They're getting their visa because they actually intend to travel. And that's who reads our magazines. The model has been very successful and yields about 18 million annual readers. The magazines invite the readers into our different WeChat platforms. And this is how we gather the 8.5 million WeChat followers, all of whom share the same demographics as the magazine readers. These are real Chinese global travelers and shoppers. So how could this be interesting for you? Because if you work with us in developing your WeChat platform, these platforms can be used to attract followers into your new WeChat platform by sending push messages, advertorials, banner advertisements on all of these platforms and invite the followers to join your platform. This way, your platform grows faster and with less effort as compared to trying to recruit new followers on your own. We work with over 300 companies every year on our various WeChat platforms. These are just some of our clients. To give you an example, we produce the Marriott International South Europe Luxury WeChat platform, which has 36 different luxury hotel properties, including Ritz-Carlton and St. Regis, W and Meridian and Marriott properties. We also produce WeChat for several airlines, including Vietnam Airlines, China Airlines from Taiwan, and Philippine Airlines in China. Quite a few luxury brands utilize our different WeChat platforms for advertorial and push marketing, as well as banner advertising. i 2 i China has been in China since about 1999, and we have offices in Beijing, Shanghai, and Hong Kong. We are actually the largest media company in China focused exclusively on global travel and tourism. As I mentioned before, we have about 18 million annual readers uh, in our media group and about 8.5 million WeChat and social media followers. Additionally, we also offer companies marketing, promotion, PR, communications, events, and media relations. Thanks a lot for joining us today. I hope you found the presentation to be interesting. If you have any questions, 
please feel free to email me or contact me on WeChat. You can also call me on my mobile phone here, which is listed. And we would be happy to provide you with some free consultation on how best to open your own WeChat account, also integrate that with Weibo and TikTok or other Chinese social media, and maybe we can also provide services to you in some of our other areas of expertise. Again, thanks very much for joining, and best regards from China.